last week. So, uh, he's pretty good. Are they signaling E Dragon? <laughs> we haven't seen it in a while. Are they going to use that Golem deck? I'm down. It does come up from in RG deck sometimes. Yeah, every once in a while. Another dash into tower. Oh, just before that. <laughs> gonna get some hits though. That's a lot of elixir just gained from that bandit. This battle ram deck so popular with game with. It looks like this is what they've been really practicing outside of their cycle decks to kind of keep keep ponos on their feet. So ice spirit, ice wizard. Dark Prince, Mega Minion. There's a bunch of stuff that can come on the back end of that. Actually, graveyards. Yes, that's what there's I. There's a joy. There's a Royal Giant with Tornado. Certainly the cheaper one. With that Dark Prince, a little bit more expensive from the 2.9 RG cycle with that Tornado. I was expecting that to happen very likely with that Ice Wizard. Yep. So that does activate the King Tower here. So a nice little. Advantage for Rad so far, despite the fact that he's taken uh, just a little bit more damage than Roaparn. Well, Roaparn hasn't taken any, <laughs> but it's not it's not super significant yet for Rad. Yes, and the Ice Wizard barely <laughs> doing any damage. Oh, it's just like it's just the most ineffective, like when it comes to doing tower damage. <laughs> <laughs> Is so bad. Look at that Ice Spirit. I love the Ice Spirit. That card, if you can use it well, is so versatile. For one elixir, you can drag it for a split second, freeze it, just enough to actually defend perfectly against and keeps your cycle going too. Yeah, exactly. And that stun it gives you is crazy good. Alright, we're gonna try the battle around with some minions and an e -Wiz up in the top left. It is immediately tornadoed with a bar barrel there as well. There's that Ice Spirit buying some time. Roloparon taking out his first sword for attack. Rad, that's a pretty good shield here. All right, we'll see what Rad wants to do on the back end of all of this. He's just kind of biding his time, saving two more cards here. Rad did activate the King Tower, but because of all the dash charging damage, Roloparon, it's not going to be the most significant King Tower activation here in this game. That's true. That's very true. See the minions based from that Ice Wizard is going to go down. There it is. It is the RG here. So a little bit different than that 2.9, but huh? there is the P.E.K.K.A. Of course, Roloparon was hanging on to that as well since it counters the RG so well. The RG does get one shot though. Yeah, even a Lightning. So a little bit of a heavier version with that Dark Prince in it too. The Ice Wizard just makes everything so much slower. As oh. <laughs> it's just like, it's so interesting. It goes into that one last remaining minion, which might not, might, might not have been what Rad wanted there. Ooh, he's just going to cycle right through because he knows he can win this on spell damage because he uh -huh. has the lightning versus the poison. Humor Elixir, of course, has to be used for that. Great Pekka use, and the Dark Prince on to the right. No. Oh! Just not quite getting the charge. One swing from the Barbarian on the top right. What's a Pekka do? <laughs> the, <laughs> the Pekka is doing what Pekkas do. They just... Oh, I think Dark Prince got the charge onto it. Yep. He's got some damage. Okay, all he has is an Ewiz and a Dark Prince. That's not ideal against the Royal Giant. Two. Three. A little too much. Crazy. Does he have the tornado in time? Didn't need it. But the dash oh, the, the oh, right the, does go the in. Bandit. Yeah, for either one, because he had to drag either one. He can't really get that together. It doesn't line up perfectly. And just in time with the e -Wiz. A little help from some minions to clean all that up. Cycling with his Mega Minion here. So, of course, Rotoporon most likely just going to hang on to that P.E.K.K.A. for a while. And Rad's trying to see if he can bait it out and get another opportunity to get his RG. Yeah, exactly. So Rolloparong has got to wait with that P.E.K.K.A. But without that P.E.K.K.A. it's been not enough damage sometimes. So oh. RG. With the Ice Wizard there, it does give you enough time to get one shot off. Mm -hmm. Normally with P.E.K.K.A. minions, that's not enough. But with the Ice Wizard slowing up the P.E.K.K.A.'s attack. Oh, for sure. Whoa! Yeah. Doesn't... Does he really not care? What? 
If you're do if you're getting this much damage, Whoa. it's about it's about even. That's interesting there from Rotopodon. I guess he just really wants to set this up. And immediately a counter on the right-hand side with the Royal Giant. This might be it. With that RG shooting straight. That's the first shot. The second shot won it. Oh, 3 HP. And that's game. Going for Ponos. Rat takes it. Good switch. After that, Dark Prince just getting that tower down to about 500. Crazy, this has been such a great finals. Both of these teams playing so, so well. Just really amazing, high level Clash mm -hmm. Royale. Yeah, just last week we had a lot of Golem decks in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just go straight, remove all those heavy decks. A lot of RG and a lot of cycles. It's like we're back in like week two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like they're right back in the early stages of the season with mm -hmm. nothing but Battle Rams and RGs. And there we go again. You heroes are back to you know what, and it's so interesting because typically the Japanese teams favor the cycle decks. Yes, uh, especially the Goblin Barrel. Yes, had that a lot last year, but because Barrel is just not doing well against like Barrel Snowball, which also activates the King Tower sometimes Ooh. against the Goblin Barrels. But the Bowler, Bowler, whoa, hello, this is going to be the Bowler Graveyard deck. There's one shot from the RG that is it. The baby dragon locks onto the bowler here. With that tornado there, it's it's gotta be. It's gotta be the, the graveyard deck, right? This bowler EQ. But this one has a tornado already, so less chance of that. There's that bowler mirror deck that <laughs> every once in a while, but it's not that. It can't be. With I don't think we had a mirror. We haven't had mirror in 1v1. Yeah. I don't know if we even had it in 2v2. I don't think it was played at all. It was played a few times in China. That was about it. Here comes the graveyard. You called it. Princess Tower locks onto the baby dragon. Ooh, you got a couple nice spawns over there on the left-hand side of that princess tower. Uh -huh. So uh, despite the barbarians, he's getting a lot of damage. That was a really oh. nice graveyard. So baby dragon just taking all the shots. Great work there. Just have the tornado to pull it away. Bowler doing a lot of work in the middle. Yeah, he does quite a bit of damage. A couple shots there, but nothing super significant. Uh-huh, just one. The Barbarian is actually doing a lot more onto the right side. He slowed down with the Ice Wids. And this time, Yui Hero is just opting to change sides because of the damage being about even on those Princess Towers on the right and the left. And he wants to, you know, not allow the, the graveyard to be played as easily. Yes, you want to get that connected into the RG. Lightning takes out the dragon and freeze. Freeze used defensively, buying some time here. The Royal Giant, I think it got one shot off in there. Or, Just bar barely. or barely, or barely none. Close to that with that help of the slow. In that middle, Rat is looking for that graveyard chance, but the RG is just stopping that from happening. And also the furnace will take so much skeleton shots away from the tower, so he wants to wait that out. Yeah, Yui Hero doing a great job changing things up here despite suffering quite a bit of damage early on from that graveyard. And when you're using those freezes defensively, things are typically going decently, but this time a very healthy bowler is going to be crossing that bridge. Yui Hero already having that furnace once again. Waiting for that graveyard to come out anytime soon, but Rad is not going to not going to just waste it. He's looking for that perfect one chance. Alright, the bar barrel going to distract that E-Wiz. You're going to use that Ice Wizard to slow things up. Tornado to drag it all back. Here's some baby dragons as well being put down. Yeah, good bar barrel to get that Ice Wizard down. So the RG, one shot off. One shot. Brad's got to find a way to get that graveyard in there. He's got to wait for a very weak. There we go. He's going to try it this time. Will the freeze come down as well? Immediately the barbs are done. There's the freeze. A lot of damage being done. Good skeleton spawns. Fire Spirit dude does take him out. One's on the left. And even the bowler getting some scratches. Oh, Another no. rock. And that's game. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Rad. Rad. In these playoffs is 5-0 and oh in King of the Hill games. Who would expect a bowler graveyard to come out? Oh, boy. Already. Abandoned. <laughs> oh, Brad had his hands off the device, and I was freaking out for a second. <laughs> he already had the Rascals. All right, Rascals here. So, Bowler, 
Mortar? It, I mean, when he's, that's like the first thing you think every time you see Rascals. Mm -hmm. you're like, oh, mortar. There's some other weird decks that, that does crop up in. There's some graveyard decks that uh, from time to time yeah, do some, come through. Yeah. Uh, graveyard actually flees with those Rascals. Yeah. Rascal is just one of the best. One of the best pairs to actually just have a defense. It's, it tank, you can tank so many shots. It's far away from that bridge. Never get close. Never get close to that Barbarian Barrel. Yep, but there it is. It is indeed the Mortar here for Rad. And then the real question becomes, which version of the Mortar are we running? Yeah, what else? Is it going to be just a Miner or Royal Hogs? Royal Hogs, yeah. Ooh, Pekka Ram Rider here from KK. So a little bit different for him. That Ram Rider's pretty healthy, and all you got are a couple Archers. Oh, just in time with that Barb Barrel. Oh, but the Baby Dragon. Locks onto the top Princess Tower. Still pretty healthy. Couple more shots. Yeah. There it is. You're right. The Royal Hogs. Very nice. Yeah, got all the ones out of the way. Okay. You can actually place the unit like that onto the left and bring make the Hogs go around the right and just snowball it to activate the King Tower. I think KK just did not have it in his hand because it was it's yeah the last card used. Yep, I was just thinking that. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. you could snowball that over into the King Tower next. That's activate. totally possible with any kind of units on the left, forcing the Hawks to go towards that King Tower. So he's perfectly comfortable cycling the P.E.K.K.A. and Rad immediately defensive mortar goes down. Now we go into double elixir time. So we'll see exactly how this one shapes out. It's very even so far. Lightning getting that motor down. Still the Rascals survive. It's Ram Router that's going to charge it, but the Hogs doing damage already. Yeah, he has to use Snowball. There's a counter Snowball. Now that Ram Rider is already onto that tower. So that is a lot of damage being done. Baby Dragon is going to end up going down to the Rascal Girls here. The counter push onto the bottom right. Well, Hogs. Doing a significant amount of damage down to 1100. So that's not too far off, but KK looking to chip in more damage with that aggressive lightning hitting two, t two targets. Yeah, KK feeling very confident here. He is pretty far ahead right now. Royal Hogs switching to the other side. Rascal Bridge Spam on the right. Yeah, with that bar barrel, the Hogs will be deleted. Say goodbye, Piggies. Just too much time being on there. It's just stump more time, but that's great defense coming down. That's 80 more damage after the lightning needed for KK. The motor, this one's trying to push into the tower. Yep, okay, trying to get that e -Wiz distracted from the mortar here. The mortar's getting a few shots and some decent damage from those Royal Hawks. Yeah, but the motor locks on to the e wizard. What's, what's KK? What does Rad have after that snowball? Top left, just in time with that defensive mortar. But it's going to be so weak after all of this, and those skeletons go down, but the bar barrel just in time. Woo. Snowball lightning will finish the game. KK is collecting all the elixirs. Yeah, I think he should just be able to maybe get it off. He's going to have to defend these hogs first, though. Yeah, KK is reading that really well. Now to 400 with that fireball, not enough. And with that great amount of patience, having that e wiz set up before those hogs, he knew that was coming. Okay, this is kind of the this is the kind of play that's crit started. I, I I mean I would love to see that game five him against Mikan. I am totally down with that. And there is that Goblin Gang. So will it be the mortar again from KK, or is it going to be something else? Trying to bring that nightmare back <laughs> against Spikey Jones. <laughs> Just, oh, it's the Goblin Barrel. Goblin there we go. Goblin Barrel, finally! We called it. Oop. The Ice Spirit does get its jump in, though. Yeah, that's the perfect timing, so you can get that damage at least. <laughs> so how you draw out. And the thing is, Frankie Jones has a zap, which doesn't kill those goblins instantly. Right. Snowball would get them to basically do no damage, knocking them away. So looking like the traditional Spellbait deck. Yeah. Seems very likely with that Princess Knight. Zap that time, cleaning up those already, some of those already damaged. Goblins, good job with the barb barrel here by Raiki. Raiki playing very good defense. So yeah. KK wanted that maximum distance to have that log damage even chipping into the top left. Yeah, sometimes that's somewhat hard to calculate. 
Or sometimes if you're too late, you would miss the unit because you get greedy trying to do some damage into the Prince's Tower too. Right, right, right. All right, so right now, Raiki looks like he has a lot of answers for this type of deck. Uh, this time, though, that Ice Spirit does drop onto that Lumberjack, so you get a few hits in from those Goblins in the Goblin Barrel. Neat. Raiki also has to use the Zap there, so that's why he's really low on Elixir. Here comes the Ram Rider. Straight on against those goblins. Oh, even a zap here. So that Ooh was boy. not used before. This is a lot of damage. This is a lot of damage being done by this Ram Rider. Oh, boy. Ooh. Reich is close. How can he stop that Ram Knight? We'll be snared and slowed so much. It's going to be difficult with the poison as well. You can destroy a lot of the units that KK wants to use to defend. Also, Princess, if it's close enough to that Ram Rider, it will take those snare damage and eventually go down with uh, some shots. Pekka, slow, so Kiki's not really worried about that. Yep, you can use that e Wiz there. Get the remaining goblins, limiting the damage. Now the Knight's going to get a hit in here, and that's just about it. The Inferno Tower will deal with that peck on the bottom right. Now we've got the Lumberjack coming up top left. A little more with that Ram Rider when it's on Mage. That's another problem. Oh boy. And the Goblin Barrel just gets deleted by the Bar Barrel. Every single time Reggie Jones is handling this so well. He knows that he has a good grab. Even the Goblin Gang right on top of this oh poison. Oh gosh, Reiki is doing to KK what KK's been doing to everyone else, reading him. Is this going to be it? He's just playing so well. Those baby dragon belches down to 9-10. This is looking dire for KK. Can he find some way to get this done? We're going to get the, the rage as well here, just in time with that knight. Does not charge into the tower, but still the poison chips in, along with deleting that princess. Two knights, still really slow. Yeah, it's fine. You can even throw up. OK, yeah, the Ewiz, I was going to say, if you have Pekka, you can drop that there, too. Ewiz is better. Ram Rider here does get pulled by this Inferno Tower. And the Barb Barrel's gonna come through as well now. I think the charge for damage went in before the Ice Spirit hit. So the tower goes down really, really quickly this time. He has to use the Goblin Gang to buy time. He cannot afford to take any more damage on that tower. He knows it. e -Wiz helps prevent significant damage, but slowly KK's climbing back into this. Very slowly with that tower. Great use of the freeze. Yeah, of course we assume this is a rocket at the end of this for KK. Mm -hmm. That's so that's why he's slowly chipping in all the log damage, anything that's possible. Changing things up to the right. Only a zap, and the U is coming up slightly too late. Yeah, it's a decent amount of damage there because of that princess as well. Onto that right hand push. Yeah, but he's just 62 on the bottom oh. left. That's poison and a zap. It is. He's just got to play defense here by a little bit of time. This could be it for Reiki. He's going to set up for the kill here. Comes the ram into that Inferno Tower. Jack chopping onto it. Oh, the rage. Not in time. The Ram Rider doesn't get through here. He's going to have to play defense here. Good Barbarian Barrel. Now that will also help take down this princess. Can he get into the poison one more time? Yeah, one more time. That poison onto the right will be game 528. The Ram Rider is here. Ice Spirit to freeze up a few things. There's a zap. Inferno Tower right behind, but there's that poison. That's about to be having the finishing blow, and Reggie Jones takes it. Ponos is going to be the champion of Clash Royale League Asia 2019 Season 1. Two championships for Ponos in three seasons. This is an incredible team. They play so well.